believe it or not, all those dishes were caused by me. And they're waiting for me to... So, it's a Sunday and I've got my skincare routine going on. So this is my mask that I use to moisturize my skin and hydrate my skin. So sometimes when you're feeling like your skin is just dry and it's just not doing the things you want it to do because it's dehydrated. So the mask actually hydrates and penetrates through. All right, so I always plan my days on a Sunday so that Monday I'm not, yo, 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 oh my God, blue Monday. No, I don't do that. I'm very organized, you know, and yeah, I think it's because of the line of work I do as a producer. I always have to be 100% organized. Oh my God. The more I look at myself speaking in this thing, like, <laughs> it's even worse when I laugh. <laughs> all those dishes were caused by me and they're waiting for me to uh, pack them luckily I've, I'm done washing the dishes all I need to do is pack them nicely and you know put them where they belong so that that space can be clean and I also cleaned my fridge I'm gonna show you And your skin is hella fresh. Look at that. And I'm going to have hydrated skin the entire week. So I'm about to make myself some tea with a slice of bread. Usually I eat in small bits and pieces, but you know, you find that I'm eating like three to four times a day. Maybe I'll eat a slice now. Earlier on I had two slices. That's how I eat to avoid eating too much or feeling bloated or anything like that. Oh, and every time I eat, especially if it's light meals, I always go for this animal plate, not animal, animal. I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, it reminds me of my grandmother, um, Emma Kikuru. Unfortunately, she's no more, but the right hand I'm a plate of sauna, the gomiche sauna. And she loved tea. She would drink tea two times to three times a day. Okay, so here's my tea. I don't know if you can see it. Right, so yeah, now it's time for me to plan my week. <laughs> as I promised. <laughs> All right, our lighting is a little bit better now. I want you to look at how fresh and hydrated my skin is. I'm not wearing any makeup whatsoever. It is bare. My skin on my face is matching my skin on my body. So, just making sure that you hydrate before the start of the week. So my week starts on Sunday. It doesn't start on Monday. It starts on Sunday afternoon. I believe that um, Sunday mornings belong to God. So I usually go to church on Sunday morning. And then Sunday afternoon, I then start planning. I have a diary here. <laughs> This, this diary has seen so many of my dreams come true. Um, I even have, you know, <laughs> recently I've been doing a little bit of therapeutic drawing, you know. Can you believe um, these drawings started with numbers and, you know, they continue. So I believe with therapeutic drawing that, you know, when you're stressing and you don't know how to solve a problem in your head, you can just start drawing and then the ideas will come. I believe that as, you know, a creative, I work as a creative in the industry and as a producer, you have to constantly have ideas. And ideas don't 
come on you're forcing them they come on you're more in a relaxed state sometimes when you're taking a walk when you're at the gym or when you're somewhere that's how ideas will come so i usually will plan my week on my diary so i have daily goals and i have weekly goals and i have monthly goals and i have yearly goals you know what i'm saying and sometimes especially the big ones sometimes i don't achieve them in the time frame that i've set uh, this is not to put myself under any pressure. This is just to remind myself some of the things that I promised to myself and some of the things that I really, really desired. Sometimes the desires change. You find that maybe I want, example, this thing um, on media. Maybe I want to make this a lot of money or buy this thing for myself. For example, for the past two years, I've been planning on going to Thailand. And the financing were not finances were not financing so um i've had to drop that you know and think okay since i can't go to thailand i wanted to go last year on my birthday and i couldn't go so i decided okay where can i go that gives me the same feel and vibe and i actually went to mahalisburg it was absolutely breathtaking um this year i still planned again to go to thailand and i said if not, then I'll just go to Cape Town because, you know, there's a lot of great things to do and a lot of amazing people in Cape Town. Um, my birthday is still coming up. <laughs> my finances <laughs> are giving me a stress. Um, so I don't know. If, if Cape Town and Thailand doesn't happen now, then I'll find an alternative, you know, a more affordable alternative. What matters is that I have the main goal in mind, but it doesn't mean that I can't adjust before arriving there so this will help me avoid frustration and this is a strategy i use and i definitely would uh, recommend it so let me just have my tea mm. you know um my sister every time i visited her one of my big sisters and then she would buy all these um polonies bacon and everything like that and i'm like i just want bread and butter and tea you know, she never understood. She was like, she thought, Sandy, but you, you can't be scared to eat. It's just me. I'm like, I'm not scared to eat. This is everything. Bread, butter, and tea. Sometimes bread, butter, peanut butter, and tea. That's everything. 